Directors often have a close working relationship with the offline editors who work in dedicated editing applications like Avid, Final Cut or Premiere. Traditionally, the footage from the shoot is transcoded to a lower resolution for the speed of editing, as one can be dealing with hours or tens of hours of footage. The offline editor creates the edit and then exports an AAF, EDL or XML, which are edit decision lists containing a lot of metadata used to automatically recreate the edit in flame with the original raw or high resolution footage. The offline editor will also export the rendered clip of the edit as a visual reference. Let's first tidy up our desktop. We will load the import media desktop by dragging it over the desktop rails and in the library create a folder called conform. We will then rename the desktop to conform and save it. I have already imported the files into the conform folder. We will go to the conform tab and navigate to the directory where the XML is saved. In AAF and XML import options tab, we will click on the resolution from file and set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, as that is the resolution of our files. The sequence and the media should be the same resolution. We could also copy resolution settings from a clip by clicking on copy from selected clip. We will enable Keep Clip Name. Link to media files should be switched off as I have already imported the media for the conform into the conform folder in our library. So all we need to do is import the XML and link it to our media. Had I not imported the media already and we were importing the media from the disk with the XML, we would switch on Link to Media Files and search and import files. If the XML and media files weren't in the same directory, but in the directories next to each other, we would set search setting to one directory level so that Flame scans another level of directories. In relative search options, we should enable source timecode. In the Conform tab, we will click on Match Criteria and select Clip Name. We will now switch off Link to Media Files and import the XML. If we alt click on the XML sequence, we will get the metadata information of the sequence and in the viewing area, the metadata of the individual clips. The XML holds all the information of the edit, the source in and source out timecode, the record in and record out timecode, the duration of the clips, the names of the clips, the format of the clips, the frame rate and so on. We will navigate to the Conform folder in the Media panel, right-click and set as Conform Search Location. We can see that some media has been found, indicated by green ticks, and some media has multiple matches, indicated by yellow symbol. This means that there are multiple versions of the same clip with the same name and timecode. We will check the matches in the Preview window, and as the difference is just in crop, we will select the wider option of the clip we want and link it by right-clicking on it. Once all the clips have been found, we will click on Link Sources and the conform is done. We can see that in the Clip Info Pipeline, between the Timeline and the Viewer, Resize is on, which means that the clips are being resized due to a resolution mismatch between the source clips and the sequence. I have done this on purpose, so that you can see how you will be warned about a mismatch. We can see that the Conform has multiple layers. Some shots have extra passes for visual effects work, either blue screens, separate elements or alternative takes. To check that the conform matches the offline render, we will overlay the offline edit over the conform. We will create a new track by clicking on Track Plus button. This will add a new video track and make it a primary track, shown by a little red P symbol next to the track. 
we will drag the offline reference into the sequence. As the offline reference is a different resolution than our project, we will click on Crop, Resizing and Crop Edges to make it the same resolution as Conform. In the Player Options pull-down menu, select Show Viewing Settings or Alt 5. Under Compare Mode, we have different options to compare the Conform against the offline. We will select Side by Side and choose Conform as the secondary input. Then we will line up the offline with the Slide tool. If there were any mismatches between the individual shots, we would use the editing tools to slip, slide and trim shots in the Conform. Once we are happy the Conformed Online Edit is matching the Offline Reference Edit, we can go to the Media panel and pin the Conformed Edit to the Reel, so that it is always accessible in our desktop reels. In Flame 2017, the Connect Conform has been introduced for multiple deliveries and versioning of different length commercials. Connect Conform effectively links all the various lengths of media in the Conforms and automatically updates the changes made to the media in one conform in other conforms, thus dramatically speeding up the conforming process of different length commercials. To watch the tutorials on Connect Conform or on conforming EDL and AAF files, please go to Autodesk Flame Learning Channel on YouTube.